hey y'all what's up welcome to my channel this video is going to be all about how i got this look i'm really feeling it it's kind of different than what i usually do and i use the morphe 350 palette which is very highly highly coveted right now i know it's sold out but they will be putting more in stock in the new year when i saw the morphe palette and i knew that i had the color limbo by ColourPop, i was like you know what i gotta do that look and it took me a little bit i did have this palette for about a month and a half so far and i've been trying it out and i've been trying different looks but the limbo look the limbo color didn't really go with it and this look finally did i'll just show you um this is the palette this color did break out uh right here i use that for my inner tear duct color the palette is very, very velvety, very soft, very finely milled, and very buttery. So, please don't drop it. I kind of, like, tossed it onto my bed, and I was like, oh, this joint broke. I know it did, and I opened it up, and it did break. But thank goodness it is a little bit in there still, so it could just be like I hit pan on it. But um, I love all these colors. I used a good five or six shades. I used only this palette. The good thing about this palette is that it is so versatile. All these colors I use, I use a transition color. I use a brow bone highlight. I use a major lid color. I use a shimmer. I use matte, deep, warm, cool tone, warm tone. I used it all and I loved it. Basically, if you want to see how I got this look, just stay tuned.
Okay, y'all, if y'all love this look, I hope you enjoyed my other looks. If you want to see some other looks that I had, check down below. I did dye my hair red. I don't know if you guys noticed, but all of my other past videos, my hair was black, but I dyed it red. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys to the moon and back.